cheese. Parmesan. We are all about meatballs today, and Chef Bob Whitmer is here from the Wazi Supper Club on 15th and Wazi in Denver. They have something for everyone when it comes to meatballs, and he's going to show us three great ways to eat them today. Good to see you. Good to see you too, this Natalie. It smells so good over here. Well, thanks here. a lot. I appreciate that. So you're going to let me help you put something together? Yeah, I would love to. Okay, let's go for it. So what we have here is ground pork right here, and you can buy this at the supermarket. Okay. Two pounds of it, boom, right in the bowl. Meatballs are really easy to put together. You know, it's kind of just a grab the meat and go kind of thing. So is there a trick though? You're using ground pork and are you as adding ground beef too? Ground pork, ground beef, and Either here's one? the secret. Don't tell anyone. Uh, ground bacon. Ground bacon? It adds Where a little bit of fattiness to it. You don't actually. What you can do, and what I did here is I uh, pureed it in a food processor. So you, did you cook the bacon? The this bacon is, is the raw. raw bacon. This you is raw bacon. Processor. You cook it in the food processor until it's this nice paste oh, right here. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. That gives it adds that extra flavor. Adds a little bit of smoke, huh? adds a little fat, you know, which mm. is always great. Because um, meatballs are zero fat. Uh, here's some Asiago cheese right okay. here. It's just a nicer Parmesan, a little dry. Uh huh. And then even nicer than that, we have a Grana Padano. And really? Take it, take a Let me bit. try one of those. So Just wait, you're adding both of these both for of different them. flavor. Both of them. Mm. Oh, that's Isn't that good? good? Isn't that good? Oh, that's awesome. So here's our Wonderful meat and flavor. cheese. We also have minced garlic. Okay. Okay. Some black pepper. Mm -hmm. All of that. And okay. some dry basil. Oh, I want some more of that cheese. Yeah. Take some. Here you go. I got plenty. <laughs> no, it'll be good all mixed together. That's okay. all right. So okay. here's the fun part. Here's okay. what you can do with your kids. Have a great time with uh -huh. it. Mix just it really. All oh yeah. Just Squish don't it. even. Don't even think about it. No, don't even talk this, about it. Look. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just, just go for it. Just go for it. Yeah. Now um, do you have to get it really squished in there. It to get helps. All those flavors? It helps just to yeah. make sure everything's mixed together. You know, this is something you can have your kids do. Got it. It's a good Love time. It. You can do this ahead of time even. Now, can you uh, do, can you put this, do all of this, and roll them up and then keep them for a bit? Absolutely. You can freeze it like Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Would can you freeze, freeze it like before that? or would you freeze it after? Freeze it after. Okay. Because if you freeze it before, you have this big bulk of mess of meat. Yeah. And it's going to take forever mm -hmm. to thaw out. Okay, so you so do So now that we that. have these all mm -hmm. mixed together, what I'm going to have you do mm -hmm. is scoop them out into this pan so we have over here. Scooper, huh? We've got an ice cream scooper, and the reason we use that is it helps to keep everything in a uniform size. Make sure you go ahead and fill that up completely. <laughs> I, didn't do, I didn't do a good job. That's well, they okay. They look huge, but you're making huge Big meatball. meatballs. These are like big this? four ounce meatballs. How's yes, ma'am. Okay. Just like that. Get Perfect. It in there. And just like scoop them in. Uh, see that? Perfect. That's just like, a, like that. That's like a, so make it the size of what you would want your ice cream scoop to be. That's correct. There you know, go. and if you have a big ice cream scoop, that's fine. If you have a little ice cream scoop, that works too. Okay. So just we're gonna scoop fill them all this in. up. We're running out of time, so we're mm -hmm. gonna fill this up. And then and while you're doing that, I'm gonna go baking. ahead and get the spaghetti and meatballs together. Uh-huh. So what we have right here is just some spaghetti that's already cooked off. Okay. We've got our meatballs nice and hot right here. Okay. Now, do these go in the oven for a bit? These go in the oven. Uh, 325 degrees for 45 to 60 minutes, depending on. You okay. know, make sure you check the internal temperature of uh -huh. your meatballs that they come to 165 degrees. Okay, so after they do that, you mm -hmm. put them in here? This is, yep, you put them in different. a pan to keep them hot, okay. you know, get a little sauce put in there. Put your sauce in there. Oh, yeah. Right on top of your meatballs. Oh, yeah. And how you can cook the meatballs, a little, little chef secret, is to take a little bit of, of your favorite spaghetti sauce, you know, ragu, whatever, uh -huh. and then mix a little bit of water with it. And then put that into the pan that you put uh, cook the meatballs. Okay. Just to get a little extra tomato flavor. So you got a hoagie here. Tell me about what the other things that you make. We got a these. hoagie. We've got these spaghetti and meatballs, just like that. Mm -hmm. We have a Wait, meatball I'm only supposed slider. to do one layer, right? No, you can, oh, can stack it up. Good, you can layer it, stack it up. Uh -huh. You can do whatever you need to. Uh -huh. The meatballs will not stick together when you cook them. Wow, so this is what you do. This, this is, is what this I is do. This is your thing. What's this, your favorite? Uh, the meatball sliders are definitely my favorite. We have a, a little bit of fresh basil pesto in them, some nice cheese, house-made focaccia bread over at mm. Wazi Supper Club. It's a great thing. So we got these there. meatballs. Look at that. Garnish it a little bit with some grilled bread. It doesn't bada bang, get much bada better boom. than this, really. That's it. No, thanks for coming in. Anytime. Thanks I'm for having me. I'm going to try this out. I'm going to take it over there. I just might share. Be back in a minute. Mm. And the thing my part of me. I'm not paying about the bush. Hey, that's not no good. So, Wazi Supper Club, these meatballs, I'm going to try one, okay? They look amazing. I know, don't oh, they? Oh, why am I vegetarian so in mm. these moments? Mm. Good. Good. Oh, yep. that's yummy. Yep. Mm. Someone needs a napkin. Uh-huh.